Hi, uh, welcome to my first GIMP tutorial. Uh, this is my first video. I usually uh, create a text tutorial, and my text tutorial is uh, the all over uh, the internet, the web. Uh, but I never did a, a video tutorial. This is my first, and I'm gonna do it with the version 2.4, 2.10.4. Uh, with a new version of GIMP and, and I'm going to uh, show you how to create a, a realistic all rusty, uh, rustic uh, wooden uh, slot or wooden board uh, and the first thing that we're going to do uh, is we're going to go to file new and we're going to leave the dimensions as this you know 1920 by 1080 and uh, the first thing what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to filters and we're going to go to render noise solid noise and here in this uh, filter we're going to the first thing we're going to do is we're going to break this uh, chain uh, on link so we have these two sizes uh, individually so for the first uh, the X size we're going to make it 15 and for the Y size, we're going to make it 1.5. Also, the details, we're going to uh, in, uh, increase the detail all the way to, to it gets to the other end, to 15. Uh, and then click OK. And then uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to soften this just a little bit. And we're going to go to Filter Blur and Linear Blur. Uh, linear Blur is just... Uh, uh, motion blur uh, that we used to have in in Game Tumpone, they just uh, made it all these three blurs uh, individually. Uh, so here we gonna make the angle uh, 90 degree, and then we we're gonna make the length 245, and uh, we leave a render. Uh, some uh, uh, computer does it faster than the others so now that it's rendered we click OK and then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make the designs that we want on the wood and and, and we're gonna use the posterize uh, filter to do that we're gonna make you know uh, the design that most wood would have when it get cut from trees and it get processed so uh, we're going to go to colors and we're going to go to posterize and here in posterize we're going to make the level 30 so click OK and you can see the lines you can see the different design or uh, what they call uh, uh, the lines uh, that go we're going to be using uh, f to make this wood uh, a little bit more realistic so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make the background white and we're gonna make these lines black now when you go to filters edge detect and different Gaussians uh, this filter in the version 2.8 used to have another uh, check or uh, another button here that says invert and and right off the hand when you uh, click on the filter it will make this uh, uh, image white and the lines uh, you know, uh, there is like ridges we want to make black but this doesn't have it so for that reason we got to go to colors and invert and use uh, the invert from color so uh, here in the first uh, level radius number one we're going to make a two and in radius number two, we're going to make this in zero. And you can see the white lines and the black background. So we're going to uh, invert this so it will become white line, uh, black lines and white background. So we go to colors, invert, and there you have it. Now we're going to, uh, we want these lines to be a little bit more, uh, a bit darker. So uh, in order to do that, we got to go to color colors again and levels and here levels in the first uh, input our first level it's called low input or black input we're gonna make this one 235 and you can see 
uh, how the lines became darker and usually uh, because it has a, a shade of shadow it's like a light shadow underneath each line uh, now since we have now the design for the wood we want to make uh, the, the texture more fiber like so in order to do that we got to go to filter noise C I E L H noise this is a new uh, filter noise that uh, the GIMP version 2.10 introduced uh, and here we, we're going to make the dueling one the line is we're going to go all the way till 100 the chroma we're going to make it zero and the hues zero click OK and we're going to uh, in order to make this like fiber like so we're going to have to apply a motion blur like we did before and all you have to do is since we, we used it before uh, it's on the recently used and just click on linear motion blur uh, here again uh, we're going to make the angle 90 degree we're going to make the length this time 30 and we click OK and you can see it you can see a thin, thin lines going down uh, up and down or down up uh, now uh, we want to make this more uh, rough more uh, wound texture so in order to do that we have to use the selection bevel uh, that GIMP never GIMP 2.10 never uh, had it in this version uh, we used to have bevel before but now uh, we got uh, this selection bevel that I issue on the material and this tutorial and uh, we're going to use it and, but in, in order to use it we got to make uh, a selection on the whole image because that, that plugin only works with selections so the first thing we're going to do we're going to go to the tools uh, and select select by call tools and we're going to click in any white part any any other lighter part and you're going to see uh, it, it took the whole almost the whole image uh, and, and made a, a selection so that's good because we're going to use now we're going to filter uh, the store bevel and here uh, we're going to first uh, change the layer mode to overlay and in the direction we're going to make it down so click on down and the bevel type in a bevel and on the bevel width uh, we're going to make it all the way to one and we're going to reduce bevel high two to one you can leave the rest as is you know uh, as the default is and just click OK and you can see the previews in this one if you want to click in previews but the 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 filter will give you a real quick preview before all of it is done so if you want to take a look at the result all you have to do is go to select none and you can see the result you can see you know more roughly more uh, texturize the the image so what we're gonna do now is gonna since we're gonna make slots and slots you know their boards beside one another and they're individual uh, we we have gaps in between so uh, the first thing what we're gonna do is click on the layer in a bevel background and add a new layer on top and name this one gaps then after that go to the palette uh, the color foreground background the palette, uh, palette uh, tool and click on this uh, arrow it's called the swap arrow so the black is on the background now and the white is on the foreground and then go to filter distorts and blinds this is all another filter that uh, 2.10 don't have so uh, we have to install it uh, in a new directory uh, on GIMP and uh, in order to use and this is a good uh, filter I love this filter I always liked it ever since uh, GIMP 
introduce this uh, filter and I use it a lot. Uh, for this one, well, for the ori orientation, we're going to make a vertical. We're going to make the displacement 14 and the number of segment we're going to make a 7. Click OK. And there you have it. You know, this line, they're not the effect that it gives this uh, 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 filter is that the line they're irregular uh, the edge of uh, each plank or each uh, uh, slot uh, you can see is uh, like a type of irregular that's the the effect you know the visual effect that this make and now we're gonna uh, try to uh, color this uh, wood so the first thing that we got to do is uh, click on background uh, on the background layer make an uh, or create another layer on top and rename this one to colors or color and go to the foreground color palette and here you you know pick up a brown color uh, for this one I'm gonna use 291B0E that's 291B0E and click OK you can make any color you want uh, desire and all we have to do now is drag the color to the canvas and you can see a brown color on uh, on this uh, and you can leave it like that, use it like that or you can change colors uh, you can change a little bit of the texture too uh, in order to do that we gotta go to uh, the layer that you need to change the blend and uh, go to the blend mode uh, on top and you can change, uh, let's, let's change it to I change it to um, gray merge and there you have it and when you change it to gray merge you can play with different kinds of mode uh, blend mode and, and you know until you find you, know, you find the the color and the texture you want on this uh, on the wood so I'm gonna pick that one and you can see how nice it look it look like a rough uh, color a rough old uh, wooden planks and that's it. This is all for, for, for now. And thank you for following this tutorial. And like I said, this is my first tutorial, first of all. And we'll see you. I'm going to have more tutorial coming up. See you.